it's a concern in Nigeria. Um, kidnapping has become a problem of late, um, but more so in northern Nigeria. Boko Haram has made things very, very difficult. Um, clearly, they are trying to show that they are part of the wider jihadist movement that's got across West Africa, that has become apparent in Algeria and in Libya. Um, clearly, they've actually shown that they have the capabilities to cause problems, and uh, this is just one step uh, of them showing that capabilities. But uh, it's a worrying sign for the Nigerian government. Um, they've tried at best at times to actually contain Boko Haram. It's been proved very, very difficult. But um, it would appear that this time around, the dog would do one more better than they've done previously. So, Aya, what do they want? What will they demand? Well, their demands are very, very <laughs> the worst kind. Um, they want a Sharia state. They want Sharia law. They they want to take away the values that you and I take for granted. Um, they despise everything that's Western. Um, they're so difficult and distance away from poles apart in terms of any form of ideology as to how people can engage with them. Um, they help bent on causing problems, which is a shame all around. Who funds them? Who arms them? Well, um, Boko Haram specifically, um, it's been claimed that they're getting support internationally, um, but they are part of the wider jihadist movement there. They, they, they have a similar ideology with uh, the Al-Shabaab movement in Somalia, again, um, the wider jihadist movement across North Africa they're affiliated with. They all have a common ideology, and they all seem to be able to support one another when they um, have a common agenda. And in this, this particular case, you could see that they're keen on taking hostages to hold people to ransom and to, to get money and, and usually um, usually to buy weaponry and also to, to make sure that they get the they install fear into the community at large.